Okay, Cancer. So this person loves it when you're cruising together. Okay. All right. They love it when you're cruising together. Something about the color purple could be very significant. Also, Smokey Robinson. I feel like somebody's dad looks like Smokey Robinson. <laughs> okay. Or something like that. <laughs> My dad doesn't, but my daddy, I remember my daddy had that fro. My daddy used to have a fro like Smokey Robinson does on this cover, this album I'm looking at. Aries, something about Aries reading could be very significant. Okay, Sagittarius at the bottom of the deck. Okay, something about your father could be very significant or a father figure. Also a, um, I feel like, yeah, a father or a masculine. Damn, okay. We got Aquarius coming out. Cancer. There we are, Cancer. Okay, so something about Aquarius could be very significant. A fucus. Okay, and whoever else fell out right there. Okay, let's see. All right, Cancer. This is your reading. Cancer, you know, your energy always comes out last. It's hard to get you out that little crab right there. Out that little out that little crab that you be in. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't know. It's like really your safe space. Like for real, because you like every reading I do for you, your energy comes out damn near last, next to the last or last. So the number four, okay, immerse. All right, cancer, they ready for you to jump off in that thing. They ready for you to, I don't know, take a leap. Like Aries energy, they ready for you to like go for it. Okay, uh, the full energy. Okay, is what I'm getting. I'll hold up. Okay, a little OCD kicking in. Okay, sorry, my bad. Okay, had to put my stuff back. Uh, but anyway, this four. Cancer, you rule the fourth house. Okay, which is the home, the core. I, I hear govern. You govern the fourth house. You govern the core. So it's like things that happen at the root or at the core. Oh, that's why Aries comes in. Okay, thank you, Spirit. Things that occur at the root. Ooh, confirmation with whatever that noise is. It's like you, you there it is. You are, you're the authority over it. Third house. You could be like, you could kind of be like me. Like it takes a lot for you to really feel comfortable or in a safe enough space to really express your emotional side or your like you know like you kind of give off like you got a resting bitch face okay and it's like yeah no um i know i do like i'm unapproachable do you know what i'm saying so maybe people thought like you were unapproachable or unrelatable um or something like that okay i don't know take it as it resonates talking about myself here yep because there's that transit but there's a transit here third house communication yeah something with the communication okay i feel like somebody has found out that you are uh, wait a minute okay gemini energy with the third house so there's a gemini you could have gemini in your chart cancer or something like that or there's a gemini or a lover's I'm hearing lover's quarrel. Okay, you could have a lover's quarrel. We have Neptune with um, at the bottom of the deck with future. Nope. Neptune is vision. Okay, so maybe someone was trying to cloud your vi vision or your judgment or your view. Okay, or the way you viewed a situation. Somebody was trying to cloud that. Okay, um, but they didn't realize that you are the owner of the home the core you're the owner you're the, you're the you're the oh my god you're the undercover boss okay so you're the undercover boss or someone you were dealing with is okay and it's like they were trying to do some spells on you okay something they could have been using like pyramid energy and trees and the moon okay something with birds okay um to try to skew your hearing something about your hearing okay my left ear is hurting all right all of a sudden thank you spirit so there's some new communication that's come out okay lucky and it's like there's a some type of lucky transformation or lucky change okay but i am lucky okay um cancer okay focused so drink some water there's a big old butterfly right there. So that confirms this transformation. So there's some type of lucky change. Good morning. Blow the whistle. I am protected. 
So I am focused. I am protected. I'm lucky. I'm lucky. I'm focused and I'm protected. That's probably how you're feeling. Okay. Or how you will be feeling cancer. Okay. Um, but there's something that you need to get off your chest. There's something that you need to speak to speak up, speak out, speak on, speak. Mm. Make me say it again, girl. Make me say it again, girl. Okay, so there's something that you need to speak up about or speak on or speak to or something like that. Immerse. They ready for you to take action. Because immerse, that's not just you chilling in your shell. That's you actually jumping off into some unknown territory. Okay, so let's see. King of candles so king of wands aries leo sagittarius okay all right i don't know why i'm getting reaper off of that i really am okay headless horseman but he's a pumpkin head the tower maybe you already spoke on something No, because it says blow the whistle. It's like the more you speak on something, the more people see that you can't be touched. You can't be bothered. Seven of Wands. There it is. That you, yeah, this is, you're in a protected space. So this is Seven of Wands energy. Staying true, being in your power, you're in a protected space, unbothered, can't be bothered. Your home, your destiny, the root, your root, your core of things, they can't be touched. That root energy is right there. Aries, that's your protection energy. That's your masculine energy. Your masculine cannot be touched. Somebody's more powerful than you realize. Queen of Cups, yeah. Oh, clutching my pearls. <laughs> okay, so clutching my pearls energy. All right. Okay, because I, I got clutching my pearls. But I feel like, oh. There's two witches. Oh, my goodness. These fools are showing right back. Uh, Ace of Swords. Your energy can't be touched. They done threw you in the fire and everything. Okay, they thought you was going to boil. They thought they threw you in the ice. They thought you was going to freeze. They threw you. <laughs> they threw you in the ground. They buried you. They thought you wasn't going to breathe. They're like, how is this motherfucker still alive? She's in the, we put her in the room. One of them is short than a mug. Okay, somebody is short. They short. This short one, look at that short witch. Somebody's short and they, they're a short witch. This could be like a little person even. I don't know. Okay, but there's two witches that are trying to watch you boil in some type of concoction that they cooked up but the thing is you're still standing you're like you're like in it and you're like okay was this supposed to do something like instead you transformed so you went through this really big spiritual transformation look so they thought you know what i'm saying this is the thing the one eyed this could have been your masculine what the fuck okay King of Cups and the King of Candles. So you have two masculines out here, Cancer. Okay? You have two masculines out here. I wasn't supposed to see the other one. One of them, he's hidden. He's hidden. Because he didn't come out. I actually dug for... I dug that up. Okay. Someone's dug something up. Ace of Swords. Two of Cups. But whatever they dug up, it scared the fuck out of them, Cancer. And it made them start fighting. Like, they were like, oh, shit. Whose idea was this? Who decided to do this? <laughs> cancer, something's gone terribly wrong. Nine wands, nine of pentacles, and the page of pentacles. 
Somebody stole Christmas. <laughs> Somebody kidnapped a fire sign. Tried to. This is the fire sign in the damn pot. But what they didn't know about the fire sign that they kidnapped is that the fire sign um, is, is, oh, the fire sign is the reaper. Look at this. <laughs> Okay, so Cancer, I don't know where you where, where where you at in this. You could be one of the witches, okay? You could be the one in the pot. <laughs> you could be the fire sign in the pot, okay? Um, or you could be the masculine. The masculine is a part of this. He's hiding, but he's the part. He's the one that brought you the damn potion. Kiss a line. Okay, hold on, 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 hold on. Okay, so this one is the one that betrayed Jesus. Okay, so they're telling me, that's how they're giving it to me right now, Cancer, is that the masculine is the one that betrayed Jesus. He betrayed him with a kiss because he brought him in this potion. So he betrayed Ra. Ra and Jesus are the same person confirmation with that knock on the door and they knocking at the door okay hold on all right so five of wands this brought conflict y'all gonna have to come back to pick this up this got really interesting but i gotta go let my maintenance man in i'll be back okay cancer okay it would be that now the phone is about to die right hold on cancer And of course, the energy has shifted, but I feel like that's what's going on in your energy. Dang, the light failed. I feel like the energy has shifted in your energy. Like your energy is shifting or something like that, Cancer. Hold on one minute. A lot going on right here. Okay, so a lot going on in your reading. I feel like a lot coming out in your reading. Okay. Um. I called my maintenance man because my toilet wasn't acting right. And so that could be a thing for you, Cancer. Maybe you had like a, a, a clogged drain, okay? Or somebody did, okay? Hold on. Whew. Let's see if I can do this without knocking everything down. Hold on, y'all. I'm going to have to put you on hold again. Okay, Cancer, we're back. So, yes, I feel like that has something to do with your reading, like something to do with your energy. The fact that the battery died, the fact that uh, there was an interruption at the door, although we were just talking about your ancestors knocking on somebody's door, okay? I feel like that's really a thing. You got also, in addition to this King of Candles, you have three aces right here, okay? Um, you have three aces, okay? Okay, Cancer, sorry that interruption. It really did shift the energy, but I feel like maybe it's not the interruption because it's not an interruption. It's actually that someone's coming to fix something. So there's a fixer energy uh, that's coming in that is, oh my God, I'm hearing the equalizer. Okay, so at this time, what they're saying is, you know who you are and you know why you came. So I feel like that little interlude in the beginning was the the history on what got you to this point. Um, people realizing who you are, what got you here, how you're here, okay? Um, why people decided to tamper with you and things like that, okay? Or deny you or lie to you or betray you, okay? Because like I said, this could have been coming from someone, like two, two masculines, maybe one masculine was on the wrong side of their energy. Okay, so proclaim your royalty, Cancer, okay? Um, the song Love Angel came out. Do you guys remember JS, that group, um, uh, JS, okay, the ice cream, remember the ice cream song by JS? Y'all look up the music, y'all, that'll take you back, okay? It was like my junior high days, okay, or something like that. Maybe not junior high, maybe it was like sixth grade, I don't know. Anyway, it took me to a place in my, my, my adolescent years, okay? I feel like you could be reviewing your adolescent years, okay? Um, and you're going to be reclaiming your power from things that occurred in your adolescent years, okay, Cancer? I really do feel a shift in this reading, so sorry if the energy's off, Cancer, but it is what it is, okay? I'm rolling with the flow. So we have wind chimes, spiritual meaning. It means to attract positive energy and suppress ill luck, okay? You deserve to feel hype. So at this moment, you really do deserve to celebrate because it's like the recognition or the 
um, illumination as it relates to who you are, okay, um, the transformations you've undergone, the truth you speak, um, the fact that somebody was trying to block your throat chakra, maybe that's why you weren't coming out of your shell, and now you're like free, your throat chakra isn't blocked anymore, this is going to be a tower for somebody, okay, um, have a very bright day, okay, Hypericum, because you're, the tower is here because you're able to ward off evil spirits, okay, we have banana tree, spiritual meaning, good luck, and prosperity, okay, um, you got this, so basically, okay, Cancer, a lot of starts and stops, Okay, I'm going to try to piece this together so it's not a three-part video, although it might be because my camera be acting funny, okay? So, anyway, I'm going to try my best to make this be a one-parter for you or maybe two at worst, okay? So, for Cancer, I feel like that's like, I don't know, I just feel the waves, a lot of emotion, okay? Maybe there's been a lot of emotion, okay? A lot of emotions have come out, okay? Face your shadow, all right? Okay, Cancer, when I say a lot of stops and starts, I mean a lot. You could have had a lot of stops and starts. Like, I just got mad and put the cards away, but let me try this again. I'm going to try to finish your energy. Because <laughs> I'm like, what the heck is going on here? Okay. Um. Anyway, so Red Robin spiritual meaning new beginnings, growth, and rejuvenation. I feel like as a result of a lot of stops and starts, Cancer, you're actually about to receive um, a whole lot of goodness. So you are a healer. Different energy is coming out than what I just pulled the first time. Stay your ground. Divine messages. Okay? Don't go anywhere. There it is. Face your shadow. Okay? So at this time, you need to face your shadow because you're going to be receiving divine messages from your shadow. Okay? Especially if you've done the shadow work. Okay? Um, if not, you're still going to receive the shadow messages, divine messages from your shadow. But these messages are going to be more like, um, you need to take care of me better. Uh, you need to focus on this and not that. You need to be doing this and not that. You need to be going here and not there. Okay? It's going to be like that type of vibe. It's a redirecting or realigning energy all right alert okay rare all right somebody here is rare cancer i feel like this is you okay um knowing that it's chestnut checkers the number four is very significant the number 11 is also significant we have um work that that's what you need to do cancer work it right now okay uh, no matter what's going on around you don't let it be a distraction continue to get the message out okay don't let um the outside interferences stop you from your path from your purpose doing it what it is that you came here to do um how they say sticks and stones may break my bones but words will never hurt me okay um and that's the energy here whatever that was they were doing okay sticks and stones witches sticks wands stuff like that all right um it'll never hurt you okay no matter what they can do it'll never hurt you they tried though cancer someone you or someone else tried okay but show me what you got yeah they tried <laughs> but now guess what they're about to see that you're actually a divine messenger okay and that's what spooked them okay so yes sir at the bottom of the deck that's what it is you're a divine messenger and they asses is spooked they being the ops the ops are spooked because they realized that they were doing magic on a divine messenger Somebody sent by God. Okay. That's that rare energy. So a Leo could be significant. Or an Aquarius could be significant. Also a Sagittarius. Okay. And this, who was this? I don't know why I'm here in Gemini, but something's going on with Gemini for sure. This could be a lover cancer. Okay, for Cancer, give me three off the top, Spirit, for Cancer. All right, Six of Cups, yeah, it's a past life lover. Five of Pentacles, they feel abandoned or left out, unchosen by you, but it's their own. They did it to themselves, Sagittarius Energy. Um, I did a reading for Sagittarius and I titled it, They Did It To Themselves, okay? But you're moving on to peace here. You will have peace. You will be able to fulfill your mission, aside from the fact that a lover could have tried to destroy you, tear you down, okay, or kill you. But we have the hangman at the bottom of the deck. This person is now the hangman, this person from your past with this Five of Pentacles energy. Um, they're going to be going through a lot of changes as well, um, but these changes, uh, these are emotional changes. They have some emotional work to do. 
emotional healing okay so anyway this has been your reading i hope you enjoyed if you have cancer be sure to like share comment or subscribe and sorry it came broken up the way it did but i feel like something's been broken okay um so that it can be rebuilt on solid foundation so the numbers that are sticking out are four 48 41 and 55 that's a 12 a 5 and a 10 okay it's completion i hope you enjoyed this reading if you did be sure to like share comment or subscribe and we'll see you next time bye